was I had an on the job injury and the, I was receiving workman's comp. The doctor released me with permanent restriction, so I no longer was going back to see him. So my workman's comp has stopped because the business doesn't have anything for me right now. So they saying that they can keep me on for 12 months without pay, and if they don't find anything to accommodate the permanent restrictions, they'll um, fire me. So my question is, is there any other entities that I could get paid or the workman comp have the right to cut me off even though the job is not honoring the restriction? Thank you, Tanya. Well, basically, they, they don't really have the right just to cut you off. Uh, workers' compensation benefits are available for a maximum of 450 weeks if you qualify. To qualify after the doctor releases you, and what we're really talking about is something called maximum medical improvement, which means in layman's terms, this is as good as it gets physically. Uh, the question after maximum medical improvement is, do you have a permanent wage loss attributable to work restrictions out of a, an accepted workers' compensation injury? If you do, then you may be entitled to additional benefits. That's something that, that you need to, to uh, look into. All right, we're going to take a quick, oh. I was going to say also, um, with respect to the difference between uh, people, some people think it's like a personal injury claim where they can get pain and suffering and things of that nature. That's not collectible on a workers' compensation case, is it? No, no, workers' compensation is, we don't call them damages. We have benefits, and those benefits are limited to medical care and disability benefits when, when you are disabled under a, a doctor's care on a temporary basis or disability in, in the form of some type of a, of a wage loss that's attributable to work restrictions.